everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about my TBR for Lauren and the Books Cozy Reading Night. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to take part in Lauren's Cozy Reading Night last year. I was really excited when I heard that she was doing another one. I will leave a link to her TBR and her information video about it down below so you can find out all about it. But this is basically a read-along that is focused on self-care and cozy reading. It is going to be on the 11th of February, so tomorrow, and she is going to be on Twitter and on Instagram from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. I'm actually gonna be a little bit late to the cozy party because I'm going to see the RSC adaptation of The Tempest, which I have been so excited to see and that will definitely be in my February favorites. And I think that's on from five till eight. So I am gonna be a little bit late to the party, but I will be taking part nonetheless. So yeah, I'm just gonna tell you about what I'm gonna be reading. First off, I'm going to be reading a little bit from All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. I am buddy reading this with Katie, whose channel I will link down below. We've been reading about 75 pages a day, so I'm gonna incorporate the portion of the novel that we are reading tomorrow into the cozy reading. I'm finding it quite enjoyable so far, but you will hear more of my thoughts about it in my wrap up. I have two poetry books that I'm interested in getting to. I might not read both of these, I might just read one of them. It depends how I'm getting on with it. I'm very much gonna be a mood reader for Cozy Reading Night. But I have The Heavy Petting Zoo by Claire Pollard and Bedtime by Claire Pollard. The two poetry collections that I'm really, really intrigued by and I think they deal with a lot of subject matters that I'm really interested in. I think there's a lot to do with womanhood and sex and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully I will get to one or both of these. And the final book I have on my TBR is Sophia Khan is Not Obliged by Aisha Malik. This is a book I wanted to read for the longest time and there is a sequel coming out to it soon. This is kind of been sold as like a Muslim Bridget Jones and I absolutely loved Bridget Jones. I read it for the first time in September I think and I also want to read more Own Voices books this year so that will be a really good book for me to read. I probably won't read the whole thing but I definitely want to make a start on it. As far as the cozy part of the reading goes um, I am gonna do a little bit of prep. I'm gonna tidy my room because my room is pigsty at the minute. Like it's really lucky that you can only see from here up because the rest of the room is a disgrace. I'm gonna do all my washing and wash some fresh bedding. I'm probably gonna have a couple candles on the go. Candles are such a good method of self-care I think because it's just a thing that you're doing purely to take care of yourself and take care of your surroundings and make your surroundings nice. Probably gonna have quite a few snacks, quite a bit of chocolate. And I'm probably gonna pick up a few different kinds of tea to try out throughout the evening as well. Something I really wanted to do this year is try different kinds of tea and black teas sp specifically because I've worked out I don't really like herbal teas or fruit teas. I'm gonna grab a couple different kinds from Tesco's and see how they go. And that's basically everything I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have some fairy lights on the go as well. Let me know down below if you are participating in the cozy reading night. And if you're not able to do it, I would definitely encourage you to make time to do it by yourself if you can. Just really devote a night to reading and self-care. Anyways, let me know down below what you're reading and I will see you guys in a few days.